Hi guys, just a quick response video to this comment here. It's regarding alternate picking and using the thumb as the powerhouse or the place to put pressure or tension when alternate picking. When I grip the pick, I generally just push down slightly, like tension, release, tension, release. Usually this will be on a down stroke, so normal pick grip, down stroke, slight bit of tension pushing in, release, so. Now a lot of players what they will do when they try and play fast or if it's at a fast tempo, the thumb will generally go like this and then the hand will start to go a bit like this and you'll notice that the tendons, it's almost like a fist, are getting crushed. This in turn will be like this and it will start to pull along this line here and it will go down into the elbow around there, sometimes on the other side. The other thing is that this line will go there and around the back, around the deltoid and around the shoulder. Now if you're doing this for short periods of time you might not feel it, although over time you might. But if you're doing this for long periods, the stress that's coming on your tendons, that's going up here on your forearm into your elbow and then into here, into the deltoid at the back generally around there, and then the shoulder will create immense pain and it's quite difficult to get rid of. So rather than put all of the pressure and strain like this, I just use that. It's just the first finger and the thumb squeezing the pick just as it comes down. Now, when I pluck down on the down stroke, I will slightly squeeze in on the pick. And now I release that tension. So it's like a slight bit of squeezing to release the tension and then relax. Don't overdo it because then you'll push yourself out of alignment with the string. It's just a slight squeeze. So we have Tension release. As you'll notice in those little examples, this is barely noticeable. If I do it like this, you see you'll see it. But in reality, it's touching the string, and then, as it touches the string, that's when the thumb squeezes the finger. And that's powerful. Because otherwise, if you just do it like this, you'll be unaligned with the string, or like this, you'll be unaligned with the string. But like this, the minute it touches the string, that's when you put your pressure on your thumb and your finger. Not beforehand, but the minute it touches. In conclusion, I only do this like, for instance, on the first beat on a downstroke, one E and uh, that sort of thing. I don't do this all of the time. Only when there's tension, when there's stress or pressure that has to go somewhere. And if it has to go somewhere, it's going to go in there because I don't want to use any of this. Anyway, if this video was of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, click the notification button, write a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you for watching.